Hey guys, and how about we play Jurassic Park the game? Last time we were running away from the the, 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 the one little dinosaurs that are evil and like poison you with a bite. So yeah, which way? We needed to find blueprints to see which way know, to go. Jerry. I believe it was. We must be forty feet underground. I have no idea where we are. We can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. Mm -hmm. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on. That would be pleasant. We might have outpaced them. We're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we headed, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes, yes, okay. Good. We're at a four-way intersection. Definitely there good. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. I just kind of hope I don't have to do that, because I'm probably going to mess up. We just to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Okay. Good enough. I guess Jess is gonna stay there and help Storkin. Maybe I can help with the plans. Yep. They look pretty simple. Hopefully so. Okay, first, we'll look at it. Oh, goodness. What's this? Oh, right. Never mind. So, like, read this, uh, back. How do I go back? I am not ready to check anything off. Survey. Look down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. Okay, good. Don't take me here. Go. Okay, these symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Okay. Does that help any? Not on its own. But I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. Really, don't make me choose yet. I am not ready to choose. This is retarded. Don't... Uh-oh. Don't make me choose is what I was saying. Um, we'll say it's bad. I just don't have enough details to make a decision. Right. Cool. Thank goodness. Okay. So, let's go here then. And it said... Right. So, look at... Oh, why couldn't I look at it? What was that? We'll look at that then. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. Anything else I should see? Like, there was a question mark which concerns me now that it's gone. Okay, good. Oh, that. There's a ladder on the right and on the far wall at the end. Okay, ladder on the right and the far wall. And that. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. Okay. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. Oh, Nima doesn't have one of these, so it's going to make that much more difficult. There's Already looked at that, right? There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. Okay, oh, it's going to be bloody difficult to remember all this. All right, Nima, what can you see? There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. And that? There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. Yeah, this is going to be difficult without a flare. There's I that. See two ladders along the left of the tunnel. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. Okay. Oh, this is hard. Okay, next. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. Okay. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. So left wall, what were these? There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. Okay. Just to see if there's anything else, I guess. I feel like we already clicked it all, but... This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards I feel yards like that's for my end. benefit, actually. Like, you could still click on it. It's just harder to see, you see for yourself. See the end of the hallway. Well, let's try it. Let's see. So let's look. Okay, well, here is a dead end. Oh, no. I, mm. His was a T. This looks like it's so... Oh, no. But they all... They all have a dead end uh, the, and a T. Um, I think he had a ladder on the right, but he also had a big pipe. And what is that? I need to see... No. Sorry. Stay with her. I need to see what she tells herself again. Okay, these symbols are access ladders. Okay. These thick lines represent large pipes. Okay. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does that help any? Not on its own, but 
but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. I felt like there weren't power box. Like, did we see power boxes? But there are power boxes in every one of these. Um, they all had a thick yellow pipe. There. Well, according to yogurt, there was one. But then opposite of yogurt was this, right? Which also had a pipe, or was it this? Uh-oh. Okay. So, Yogurt said that it ended in a dead end, at the end was a ladder, there was a big pipe on the left, and there were water tanks on the right. This has a water tank on the left, so we can eliminate this one. We know it's not that one, so we're left with these last three. So I'm gonna have to go pour over the other two, um, Nima and Jerry's, and hopefully we'll get this right. Okay, according to Nima, as they went down, turned to the right, there were two transformers on the right and two ladders on the left. So we can eliminate this bottom one as well. So we can eliminate these two right now. We're left with the two on the left. We're almost there. What can Jerry's tell us? I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. Okay, we have water tanks at the end of the hall. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. T intersection, Kate. Okay. Water tanks at the end, T intersection, ladder, ladder on the right. On the right. And on the far wall at the end. Ladder on the right, far wall at the end. What was this bit? I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. Okay, water tanks and a ladder at the end. So let's see. At the end of this, water tanks at the ladder, water tanks at the ladder, this. Uh-oh. They look the same right now. What did that mean? What does this bit mean? Okay, tell me one more time, Sorkin. These symbols are access ladders. Okay. These thick lines represent large pipes. Gotcha. The circles are water tanks. Um, this. What kind of features am I looking for? Large pipes, electrical boxes, tanks, ladders. Oh, even the direction of the corridor helps. Just keep looking. Okay. I didn't look at the pipe again. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. Okay, so it crosses from the right and then down to the left. I think. They're the same. They're the same there. That's... Oh, no. Oh. Like, I think it's this bit and this bit that are the most different. But I don't exactly know what they mean. I'm thinking right now that this is the right one. I'm thinking that this is the right one, but I can't tell. But we're gonna have to try it. We're gonna have to try it. Yes. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Fingers crossed. We're not here. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. Cross this one what off. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, can we circle two and cross out two? Like... I think this one is a good possibility. If you say so. Okay, so we have two of them. Now what? Oh, goodness. This one. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. No, I guess we have to cross off all of them, so we're gonna try to cross off this top one. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Okay, okay. everyone, I think I've got it. Ooh, hopefully. Are you sure? Yes. I'm positive. I'm not positive. But we're gonna try we it anyway. must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. What if I'm wrong? Okay. Couple not wrong. Here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we uh -oh. follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just Yogurt. memorize this route. Yogurt. Yogurt. Careful. What is that? Scared. Scared. How did we not see their eyes this time? Why didn't we see their eyes this time? Oh. Huh, huh, huh. We seem relatively okay right now. Most of them ran off, which is good. Oh no. Oh no. Not the coffee! Oh, Nima's screwed. It's a good thing Nemus with Jerry, huh? Um, one more. Uh, good. 
Good, we got them all. All right. For now. Why did you get rid of your power? I felt like I still would have held on to that. I don't know. Yeah, because now they're coming. Oh. Good, we did something. Oh, thank you, Yogurt. You're a hero. Even though that didn't really work out all that well. I'm not sure I slowed them down at all, actually. Oh, no. Oh, down, down. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Yogurt, you have a grenade or something, don't you? No? Uh. Is she okay? Up! 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 Well, we got up, but... Oh, separated! No! Oh, this could be really bad for a number of people. Oh, people could die. I hope Jesse's okay. Oh God, Jess! Oh, what have I done? I just left her down there. I have to go find her. What? Back down there with those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing, surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. True. The Marine That's exhibit. True. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? Hopefully. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know where we are. I'll figure out where we are. Okay. Sorkin was following water mains. Where would they go? Most of the water is piped in from a lagoon to the north. Lagoon. I know this place. Good. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. I'm glad just that bit of information helped you. And I'm also glad that we don't have to pay for these little things. You know where we are? For the love. Think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Mm. Engine has changed it so much. I'm sorry. Go. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. There's it some time for backstory. To I need to know her backstory. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. Oh. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. Um... That... I didn't realize this island had been inhabited before. Injun moved your people? They promised us homes and medicine. Education. They didn't keep their promise. Mm. I guess from a point of view they did. But the homes were slums, and the medicine was extra or half-used or contaminated. We had schools, but no teachers. That the island is helps. so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression, so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. Mm. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Indian people. Spared no expense. Hammond, the man who made all this, he runs Ingen. It's something he always says. He'll spend whatever it takes to make the park a success. So, he spent it all on the dinosaurs, not on my people. Right. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him. But some part of him had been lost. Hmm. Were you too close? He sounds like a brave man. Were you too close? When we were on the island, yes. We were always together. Aww. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. This one. What is Sibo? That mountain there. 
It is like a house, my father said. Hmm. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before engine. And my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima! Little fish! Little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, no, everything had a string attached. I did listen. Oh, that was it. Felt like Jess. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. Or just listen. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my mariquita. <laughs> she is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run mm -hmm. drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher. And at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be and refuse the fisher's bait. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. Just changed my life too. She was my second. Second wife. Second daughter. Apparently I'm the genetic carrier of rebellion because both my daughters got it. I worked so hard to protect Jess and keep her out of trouble. What about you? Did you turn out so good because your parents kept you out of trouble? Me? I was a little hellion myself. <laughs> Uncontrollable. <laughs> It's in my jeans. Mm. Oh, now you know this is different. <laughs> Still, one thing Jess really hasn't had in her life is a present father figure. Your father must be proud, Go. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very Wrong, proud. Wrong, your you. Sorry. Thank you, Jerry. I had to point it out. I, I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew. Nima, look, I... What is it? Help me, I'll help. Help me, I'll help. Sorry about the help. Mm. Does one of them imply a relationship? I don't really want to just say... S I'm really tempted. Okay. Nima, I want to trust you. Help me get uh, Jess off this island, and I will do whatever I can to help you and your daughter. I could not hold you to that, Jerry. If we don't get off this island, you might not have to. Please. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. I hope that no, was a good choice. I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Shh. Uh-oh. What is it? Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? Is it a car? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, yeah. we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's <laughs> vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving that at the might help. seven lookouts along the tour. Hopefully that'll the Jurassic help. Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine. The Marine Facility. Aquarium. So if we hadn't let Nima talk, would we have missed that? I wonder. But no, I really am glad we got to see more of Nima's backstory. It was really nice. She's not a bad... Well, not a bad character for one, but not a bad girl in the story either. But now we're back to running from dinosaurs, maybe. No? Calm moment. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. Look at this. Oh. Water. I think. What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. You wouldn't know, Sorkin? A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Ah. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. Mm-hmm. Down! 
That's a lot of fish. Glad How we got that quick enough. Feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks could feed three or four orcas per day. Wow. Hey, you're a fish expert now. I can make an educated guess. Good enough. Hey. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Gotcha. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Big marine dinosaurs, I'd say. Hold up. Yeah, I'm like, touch the doorknob, make sure it's not hot. Except, you know, not quite that. But along the same lines. I don't want anyone to die. I'd rather have everyone survive this. I mean, it was bad enough losing Oscar. All clear. Good. Oh, and they're already there. Dad! Jess. Oh, thank God. Well, good. Are you okay? They made some hurt? good time, then. No, I I'm okay. I mean, Nima and Jerry. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? Uh, there is no, no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. Uh. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to, to be helicopter. pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact InGen and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is going to be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. Uh-oh. What? That's right, Doc. Mm -mm. I'm gonna murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. That's not good. Dios mio. That's what you meant by Ground Zero? That's what he yeah, meant. That's right. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. Uh -oh. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait. What is Dr. Sorkin doing? Laura, what is... What it? What are you? Where is she going? I don't know. This rotunda. It's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Uh oh. Get that elevator back up here. So like the phones were right there, and we didn't even know it. Of course. Oh, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Yeah. All right, but right here we're gonna call it. Because I, I figure that's that's enough. So with all that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you don't even subscribe, it means a lot. It really helps me out, and I'd love to have you guys. So tune in next time for my next video. And until then, take care.